Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusaro Fitness. Going to answer a few more questions from the Facebook fan page Q&A that I posted a while back. Didn't get a chance to cover a lot of the questions and I'm going to just be reading off of the iPad right here. I know the computer's right behind me, but I don't want to be rude and keep turning my head towards the camera to look at questions. So I just figured I'd throw my logo in the background. Possibly t-shirts coming very soon with that logo. Maybe I'll even get a banner made and I'll do my videos with that behind me. What do you guys think of it? Do you like it? Like the video if you enjoy that logo and think it's cool. Alright, so we're just going to go over some of the questions. None in particular. I'm just going to run through and ones that I think may help people out, I'll cover. So, let's see. Rack pulls in high reps or low reps? Uh, personally, I would keep rack pulls to a lower rep type scheme. I think that they are used similar to deadlifts and I don't think many people would do deadlifts in the 10 to 15 rep range. So I would keep them a bit lower. I typically like to do those style lifts, your squats, deadlifts and whatnot. In the three to eight rep range, you can go a little bit higher if you'd like to, but as a compound power movement, I would keep them in the lower rep range. A three by five tends to work really well, even some five by five training but it depends on your goals. How often do you change splits and is it true you should not change exercises from your routine during that split? When I tell people to go on a program or I recommend certain programs according to their goals, I recommend they stick to the program, especially if it was written by a professional or an expert in the field. I think programs are written for a reason and they are meant to be followed. You can tailor some exercises to your needs to your weak body parts or lagging body parts, you can alter them a little bit, but for the most part, if you're following a program, I would stick to the program. And as far as changing splits, if you designed your own split, there's no reason to keep changing. There's no muscle confusion. You're not confusing anyone but yourself. I would just stick to simple shit. If it's working, if you're progressing, if you're seeing progress and reaching your goals, there's no reason to change anything. How much carbs do you recommend for someone with a fast metabolism and how much simple carbs? Well, again, this depends on your goals. It depends on what your overall macronutrients are and your total calories for the day. Carbs are a non-essential macronutrient, which means your body technically does not need them. So what I like to do is set protein requirements first, then set your fat requirements and fill the rest with carbs. I like to tell people to get as many carbs as possible without gaining excess body fat and while still reaching your goals. Carbs are great for energy. Carbs are great for performance. They make you feel better. They're satiating. So as many as you can get away with. And I've done videos on what to set your protein and fat intake at and then just fill the rest with carbs. So you can search the channel for macros and I'm sure you'll find that. And with the simple carbs thing, just be reasonable. Don't go eating junk food all day long, but allow yourself some flexibility in your diet. Yoga and stretching. How often do you do it? Recommend to be done per week and month. Really, I am not the best person or the best role model as far as stretching goes. I don't do it enough, but I do recommend that people who are serious about increasing their flexibility and mobility to do it every day. Whether it's 10 or 15 minutes in the morning, at night, post-workout, getting your stretches in will help for longevity and decrease injury and just increase flexibility and mobility. As far as yoga goes, I've never been through a solid yoga session. I've tried a few things online just for fun. I sometimes don't have the patience for it, although it is something that I do want to take up and take more seriously as I do believe it has a ton of benefits. So yoga a few times a week would probably be great to implement into your regular schedule. Would you prefer fighting 100 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck? Either way I'll beat the shit out of all of these ducks and horses. Probably not. Are you an ectomorph, mesomorph, or endomorph? I'm not a big believer in body types or somatotypes. I just think that a lot of times they are an excuse for people who can't gain weight or people who can't lose weight. I do believe that there is a bone structure that can help you classify yourself into one of these, but to use it as a cop-out for someone putting on a lot of muscle or someone being thin, training and nutrition will get you to the body type you desire. I've been all of them. I've been skinny, I've been fat, I've been skinny fat. I've been lean, I've been through it all, so I don't think placing a body type on someone really has much benefit. What do you think about fasting? Well, I'm assuming you might be asking about intermittent fasting, which I don't think is a bad idea if it fits into your schedule and you're able to go that long without eating. If you're talking about a 24-hour fast, uh, if, you're, if you're one of those people that are into cleanses and stuff like that and that's why you're asking, 
I mean, you could try it out for yourself. I don't see much huge benefit to it. There might be some science that says there is a benefit to fasting. It can increase fat loss if you fast one day and eat the next day. And I just think it's getting into a whole bunch of complicated issues and you probably won't feel good for the 24 hours that you're fasting, if that's what you're implying. Males here. Can I only count calories and protein? You can count whatever you would like to count. Uh, if you're serious about reaching specific goals, it might be a better idea to track all your macronutrients, also to ensure that you are getting enough healthy fats in your diet, to make sure that you're functioning properly, your hormone, your testosterone, and all that. Again, carbohydrates are good for satiety and energy. Uh, if you only want to track calories and protein, again, that's fine. It depends on how serious you are about your goals and how far you want to take your physique but you can still get a great physique by not tracking at all. Again, it depends on what your goals are. All right, let's choose one more question. How many times a week should you train each muscle group? I like to tell people at least two times a week for each muscle group, no more than three. For beginners, three times a week at a full body workout routine or full body split is a great idea. The increased frequency is great, especially if you're a natural athlete, and this will get into muscle protein synthesis, which I'll save for another video, but Training each muscle twice per week is beneficial, again, for a natural athlete. You can do your body part split if that's what you enjoy, doing one muscle per week. But again, muscle protein synthesis will slow down after 36 to 48 hours, giving you four days of really unnecessary rest and recovery. When your muscle's fully recovered, after two to three days, you can hit it again. So I would not be scared to hit each muscle twice per week, and I think that would be your best option. And I guess that's really it. There are some more questions. I'm gonna open up another thread probably this week. If you guys enjoy these Q and A's, just let me know. You know, give the video a like, leave comments down below. I enjoy doing them and hopefully I'm answering your questions enough. Some of them require more detailed answers and I will take those topics and make separate videos for them. So that's it. I appreciate all of your questions. I sincerely do. Uh, it means a lot to me that you're taking the time to ask these and then sit through these videos of me rambling and you listening. So with that said, possibly coming soon, t-shirts and stuff like that, merchandise. I do want to get that store open. And just stay tuned on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links are all in the description box below. I appreciate your support more than you know. Thank you guys very much for always staying tuned to the channel and helping me out. I'll catch you in the next video. Limitless.